uh, lectures we were founding the these two coupling capacitor values and the bypass capacitor for a given lower 3 dB frequency that was 100 Hz. Now we found that this CC1 and CC2 approximately both can be taken as equal but uh, the bypass capacitor is very high compared to these two which was 159 but I have taken 160 microfarad. Now we will see the simulation so if you go on to simulate edit simulation command and uh, go for the AC analysis this is the commands we need to give type of sweep decade number of points for decade 10 start frequency 1 stop frequency depending on the bandwidth so it may be 1 megahertz 10 megahertz etc if you run this and if you observe the the frequency response see why I have taken V out is if you go and see in the circuit diagram the input magnitude is AC magnitude is 1 so in this tool we cannot find uh, directly the gain versus that is V out by V in so I have taken V in as 1 1 so the gain will become V out only itself so that is the reason AC magnitude should be 1 now if you find V out only it is nothing but uh, the gain if you see here so this is if you place a cursor here so it will show 49.97 dB that is 42 dB if you convert into linear it is approximately uh, 42 means we will get 120, 130 so we designed for 150 so we got 120 to 150 in between but here is at 100 H if you observe it is approximately 36 to 42 B range so if it is if you keep it in 100 see in this at 100 hertz you are getting 34 dB alright so we can increase this 100 hertz to to get exact 3 dB frequency I mean 3 dB lower 3 dB by changing these two capacitors but if you change this 1 microfarad to approximately 10 micro so see this is input is capacitor is 10 micro if I change this also 10 micro if you observe the waveform so actually there will not be any dra any drastic change it is approximately equal only but even if you change to see uh, the next time I will change the, if it, I, it is increased to 10 micro what is the value we will see then see at 100 hertz we are getting 38 dB even if I changed this coupling capacitor to 100 micro and this uh, coupling capacitor also 100 micro see there is no change drastic change only slight changes will be there at uh, 100 hertz you are getting previously 38 the only 2 dB is increased right approximately 100 hertz you are getting but the moment this bypass capacitor is changed suppose if you have taken 50 microfarad carefully observe the the graph now see it is shifted to right side that means that lower 3 dB frequency is moving towards 1 kilohertz that is lower 3 dB is increasing but if you see in the previous condition if you even increase it to 100 microfarad there is no drastic change in the lower 3 dB the moment when you are changing this bypass capacitor only there is a drastic change in the lower 3 dB frequency that is the reason generally these two bypass capa capa coupling capacitors will be in the 10, 1 to 10 microfarad range only the optimum is 10 microfarad here also 10 microfarad and depending on lower 3 dB frequency you will get either 47, 50, 100 etc if you take 100 micro this one you can observe the frequency response so at 100 h what is the gain right so this is how to design a lower 3 dB frequency so what I conclude here is the bypass capacitor is a dominated one when you are designing the lower 3 dB frequency these two coupling capacitor will be very small because there is no much effect on the frequency analysis right that is the reason when you are designing for lower 3 dB frequency always we will 
use this coupling or uh, not this is this bypass capacitor will is greater than these two coupling capacitor because this is the decided one for a lower 3 dB frequency if we want very low 3 dB frequency we will reduce this uh, bypass capacitor suppose if you have taken 10 microfarad or 20 microfarad if you see see this one is so whenever 1 by 2 pi rc c is very small you will get higher 3 db frequency see it is moving to 1 kilohertz the moment when this is like very high value like uh, 180 microfarad now see it is shifted towards left side to 1 hertz so the lower 3 db frequency is decreasing so but the moment when you change these coupling capacitors there is no change in the 3 db frequency but the moment the bypass capacity is changing there is a drastic change in the frequency response right so that is the conclusion we can make so again i'm uh, repeating when you are designing for lower 3 dp frequency or small frequency analysis the dominant one is bypass capacitor that is the conclusion we may, can make from this simulation results right